now tell me what is the first organization element you need to configure let's take same tata cars okay tata cars this is your company code right will create a company code then under company code sales organization right yeah responsible for all the sales activities tata cars sales org let's say online not online let's say direct sales is my distribution channel sales office yes next is sales group and i'll create a storage location shipping point perfect now understand the relations between relationship between these we'll assign the company code we'll assign the sales organization to company code assign distribution channel to sales organization similarly you'll assign sales organization and combining these three we form a sales area we combine okay this is called we have to combine these three to form a sales area then assign sales office to sales area then sales group to sales office next is assign first we'll assign plant to company code then we'll assign storage location to plant then shipping point to plant so that is how we assign now another important element that you need to understand are how are they related so this will always be one to many one company code can have many sales organizations but one sales organization cannot be assigned to multiple company codes very important these will be these would these, these will be interview questions the relations between the organization elements one company code can have many sales organizations but one sales organization cannot be assigned to multiple company codes why the reason is your company code is a financial entity where you are recording your revenues you are recording your business okay as i told you there is tata cars there is tata consultancy services i cannot record the sales that are happening in tata consultancy services and tata cars right that is separate entity this is separate entity so hence you should never assign one sales organization to multiple company codes okay then here it is the sales org to distribution channel is many to many many sales organizations can have many divisions and many divisions can be assigned to many sales organizations okay similarly here it is also many to many many sales organizations can have many distribution channels and many distribution channels can be assigned to many sales organizations which means one sales organization can have many distribution channels and one distribution channel can be assigned to many sales organizations then here also many to many one sales area can have many offices and one sales office can be assigned to many sales sales areas even here also same one sales office can have many sales groups one sales group can be assigned to many sales offices clear and then here again plant to company code is one to many sorry this is this way if you take plant to company code it is many to one don't get confused so if it is sales organization to if you look from sales organization right many sales organizations can be assigned to one company code only one company code even here many plants can be assigned to one company code but one company code cannot be assigned to so one plant cannot be assigned to multiple company codes similarly here one plant can have many shipping points many shipping points can be assigned to one plant similarly the storage location one plant can have multiple storage locations multiple storage locations can be assigned to one plant so these are the relationships which are very important this is the first question that i'll ask you before we start in the next class in the next class we will configure this in the system we'll configure every organizational element in the system 
and we will do the assignments. 